Okay, yeah, I'm recording now. Uh, say something for the uh, audience. Something for the audience. Right, that's absolutely... <laughs> you're, a, you're a comedic master. Now... I am. Uh, now we are playing uh, Dungeon Now, which we were playing... Um, was it last night or was it the night, night before? Right? Uh, it was the night before. Yes. It was, it was, it was, it was. Uh, so, Father... Father, pick a. Uh, you are, you are, you're Father Flanagan, Father Flanny man. Uh, Father of Flanagan. Yeah, pick a setting, pick a setting. Uh, we should do uh, mystery. Mystery? Right. Why are you hovering over custom? Oh, because I'm just looking through it. Alright. Uh, do mystery. We could be a patient, Ooh. a detective, a spy, or a doctor. I wish it should be like a mental. Uh, oh we, God, that's a difficult. I think we should be like. I think we should be like a mental patient in a hospital. Yes. Who's to say we're not? And and enter your character's name. In our head. Um. A name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a name. She's oh, Um. Um. Uh, You're a father. Yeah. You have experience with naming things. You named me, for example. I did. I did. I did. I named you my one true heir. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my legal name. It's on my birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> we should um, all right, enter our character's name. Um, Giuseppe. Do you want a serious name? Evidently not. <laughs> yeah, it's Giuseppe. I'm not sure that's how you spell Giuseppe. Uh I, I just type jam Except in maybe on a porn chat. Let's get. You are Giuseppe, patient living in Chicago. You have a hospital bracelet and a bag of bandages. You wake up in Notre Dame Down Hospital. No memory how you got there. You look around and see a large wardrobe and a single bed. You open the wardrobe and see a selection of cheap suits and dresses. You close it and decide to look around some more. Now, what do we do? Uh, what do we see? Yeah. What do we say? Yeah, story, um, C, D. What do we want to do? do? Yeah, what's uh, that? Search the room. Okay. Uh, search. RPG classic. The room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You search the room. I am, I am. I like doing a deep clean in this room. You take a look around the room and see a small nightstand next to the bed and a small mirror on the wall. You open the nightstand and see a small bottle of pills and a Bible. Uh, we will look We will rip the out pages of the Bible, roll it into a joint. Jam the pills and smoke it. I'm not entirely sure that's how that works, but okay. <laughs> I think what, we should. What kind I think... of pills? What kind of pills are they? Wait, well, inspect pills, sorry. Yeah, inspect pills. The Bible might have a bum in it. Like, it might be one of those fake books. Might be, might have a chocolate bar in it. You inspect the inspect pills the to find pills. that they are sleeping pills. You reach for the Bible, but then think better of it and put it back. What, what do you mean, That's think right. better of it? That's right. I'm not going down that path. Yeah. <laughs> not, with a, not with a handful of sleeping pills. <laughs> it's, oh. it's like... Uh, <laughs> it's like r slash edit re like Reddit atheism man. You decide to go through the small mind stuff. Yeah, what? I love the way that this, this game like makes decisions for you. I decided to go through the small night stand. I thought I, I thought I'd just done that. All right. Well, look in night stand. That's where we found the pills in the Bible. Yeah, it is. It is. Maybe there's more pills than another Bible now, or a Quran. See the night stand and see a small box of tampons and a small notepad with some lipstick marks on it. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll <laughs> pocket all of this. All of this is useful. <laughs> Take all of it. Take everything. Um, look in the mirror. You take. Well, let's see what it says to us taking everything. Oh, yeah. There's a fucking grammarly thing is in the way. You take everything and put it in your bag. You expect the room to see a large mirror. Oh, look! Oh, look at that! It's okay, um. There we go. I didn't Ridges. even know there was a bathroom. But and okay. a cartoon and a carton of old razors. 
Oh, because I'm getting too many discards. Oh, there we go. We've got we've got a bottle of pills, some razor blades, and a Bible. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah. Um, you inspect the bathroom. Look, Look in the at myself in the mirror. What if it's not you in the mirror? What if it's somebody else? Yeah, it could be like a crazy person. Well, what if? What if we don't remember what we look like? You look in the mirror and see a young man with brown hair and brown eyes looking back at you. You're five eight. What a fucking manly. That might not be. That might. What do you mean? What a manly? <laughs> what am I? I'm about like. like I'm about. You're not like, much. You're about five eight. What are you talking no, about? No, no. I'm about like five ten or something like that. Yeah. I'm a bit tall. It's impossible. Than that. You're five nine. Probably. You are five. You eight. look in the mirror and see a young man. I'm six <laughs> foot five. In inches. I ask him in centimeters how his day is. There's <laughs> a reason. Mental, there's a reason we're in the mental mode, yeah. Kill him and he. <laughs> <laughs> you ask him how his day is. He says pretty. He says, <laughs> pretty good. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I think it's about time to chug those sleeping pills. Um, you decide to ask him a question. Where are you from? Right. Let's. Well, what's uh, his answer? Well, I can just get the AI to do stuff with that, without like prompting. Okay. If I just hit enter. Oh, you just press enter, do you? So. Yeah, I can, and it'll. He, he tells, tells you he's, he's from, from New York. York. We're from Chicago. What are you doing here? He tells you he's a patient in the hospital. Oh, we are schizo as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 this isn't even like some like mystery horror story. This is like an actual schizophrenic episode. It's just writing out for us. He tells you he's a patient at the hospital. You Ask him how that's going. Um... Well, put say. <laughs> what is it? So I just put how is it going? How is yeah, that how going is it? for you? <laughs> <laughs> you ask him how his day is going, and he tells you that he has no idea. You start to ask him another question: How many more days are you going to be here? This is like getting dark. What the fuck? This is like him reckoning with himself that like he's just trapped in this mental hospital and kind of scared. Offer him the sleeping pills. <laughs> he tells you that he has no idea. You decide to ask him another question. Do you know what he got? He tells you that he doesn't know. Well, it's okay, a mystery. This, this is getting pretty fucking give, weird now. Give him, give him the choice between the sleeping pills and the razor blades. <laughs> <laughs> I offer him either it. No, I offer him a choice between the sleeping pills and razor blades. <laughs> it's got that. This, this is also your own reflection as well. <laughs> yeah. Really, I just have a schizo breakdown. You offer him a choice between the sleeping pills and razor blades. He takes the razor blades. <laughs> <laughs> Inspect the bathroom. Have, have weren't we just doing? That? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, look around. Let's leave. Let's leave this room. Uh. All right then. Um. And go out. Let's go out into of our room. The hallway. <clears throat> you decide to leave the room into the hallway. You go down the long hallway to the elevator. Oh. Um, go in the elevator. Let's try leave. Go to ground floor. Oh, I was going to say go to the 13th floor, Mark. So we just get back in the elevator and go to the 13th floor. Yeah. You go to the ground floor and exit the hospital. You inspect the outside doors. It's a sunny day. You are standing oh. on the ground as opposed to standing in midair. Well, this isn't fun. Go back inside. <laughs> I want some adventure. Oh, oh, we should go back and find the, what? 
You are Giuseppe, a patient living in Zaki. <laughs> oh my god, it's looped around again. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go find the guy in the mirror and ask him where everyone is. Okay, go back to the mirror. Yeah, this is like getting some silent hill levels of shit. It is. This is great. You inspect the mirror and see a large wardrobe and a single bed. You open up... <laughs> what, in the mirror? Oh my god, it's like fucking Alice through the looking glass. It's, yeah, but it's looped around because that's what it says. That's what it says, a wardrobe with cheap suits and dresses. And that's yeah. just looped back around. Open the wardrobe and put on... Uh, I don't know. Put on a dress. I'm a pretty girl. Giuseppe was a pretty girl. <laughs> you inspect the room again, see a small nightstand next to the bed and a small notepad with some lipstick marks on it. This Let's is look at the notepad. This feels like it's a massive fucking clue that we're just ignoring. Read the no yeah, read the notepad. Are they my other are, are they my lipstick marks? Our our lipstick marks? Are they the mirror's the lipstick, lipstick mark? You read the notepad and it says... It says what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's just click enter and see what the machine thinks it's, it says. It says, don't give the man in the mirror the razor blades. <laughs> yeah. Here are, Here your, are toes. your toes. Come to my door. I will give you toe scrapers. The AI just fucking came up with that. Yes. This is this is why we need to fear AI. <laughs> Here are your toes. Come to my door. Which door? Just ask which door. Ask which door. It's thinking about it. You ask which door. He tells you the left door. You inspect the left door and see a desk with a guard in front of it. Dylan and Ian. Let's just politely ask it. First off, I'm glad the notepad told us what door to go to. Um, uh, yeah, the notepad is talking to us. <laughs> Brilliant. We are out of our toes. Ask the guard brilliant. if we can... We can have our toes. Block. If we can have our toes back. <laughs> <laughs> What are toe scrapers? I have no idea, but I presume they're toe scraping toes. You ask the guard if you can have your toes back. He tells you that you need to ask the doctor first. You decide to ask the doctor. Uh, let's just where? see where it goes. Okay. All right. Decide to ask the doctor. Can I have my toes back? The doctor replies, yes, you can have your toes back. You exit the doctor's office and go to the left door. Any of these people oh, like Oh this is mind breaking. <laughs> yeah. Are any of these people even like Fine. real or we, I don't think they're real. I'm like viewing I don't this think, through the I, don't, I, I think this is all some sort of horrendous schizophrenic fever dream. Well, let's read at the top. Uh you can the room see small nights. It's an old run down hospital, so everything's like um abandoned oh my God. as well. It is all Silent Hill. Um <laughs> Look for the toe scrapers. I look scrapers around are. for the toe scra scrapers. Scrapers. Oh, what is a toe scraper? Let me Google this. I don't know. Are you sure you want to Google? What the fuck is this? Oh, like just for like getting hard skin off. Right, okay. All right then. Okay. Oh, we've got our toes. We need to find the toe scrapers. I feel like we should have kept the razor blades instead of giving them to the guy in the mirror. You inspect the area and see a long row of toe scrapers. <laughs> to start scraping our toes. You inspect the room again. Okay. Should we go back to the cool. man in the mirror and ask him for our uh, razor blades back? Let's no. Let's take one of the toe scrapers and give it to the man in the mirror. Take a toe scraper and go back to the man in the mirror. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. 
Shamu. You take a toast and went to the man in the mirror. You ask him if he has any more questions. Do you know where you are? Is that, is that us asking him or him asking us? I think that's us asking him because it says you ask All him, right. doesn't it? You ask him if he has any more questions. Do you know? He tells you that he doesn't know. You ask him another question. How long have you been here for? He tells you that he has no idea. Let's just keep going and see how long... Give him the toe scraper. No, no, no. I want to see where this goes, right? If we just keep entering where the machine decides to send this. I was just talking to this man in the mirror. You decide to ask him another question. Who are you? He tells you that he doesn't know. Do you know how you got here? It's really taking this mystery thing seriously, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He tells you that he doesn't know. Who are you supposed to be? You decide to ask... Give him another question. Uh, I give would him... you like the toe scrapers? No, would you like a toe scraper? <laughs> I think we should swap the toe scraper for the the um, razor blade. Yes, if you would like a toe scraper, he tells you that. Yes, he would like a toe. You decide to give him toe scraper. Thank you. Uh, let's ask him for the razor blades back. Yeah, yeah. Ask him for the razor blades back. Sorry, the AI is stumped. Ah, oh, we broke it! <laughs> we, we broke, broke the it. AI! Brilliant. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay well, why, I can do that after one. all that, how the fuck did it get stumped at that? Yeah, okay, fucking hell. To, <laughs> yeah, I, maybe. Let's go back to the guard and give him a toe scraper. Maybe that's our mission in life. Give everybody toe scraper. The guard just fuck. <laughs> the guard just disintegrates when we ask him. <laughs> he says no, they are very expensive. So why would you not want one? He hands you a note. He hands you a note card with his name on it. Okay. Read the card. What is his name? Read the card. You read the note card and it reads Kurt. You decide to put the card in your pocket and inspect the guard again. Inspect the guard again. Alright, well, let's see what he asks. Ask him where we are. Oh, no, yeah, he asks us another question. Right. What's the question, Kurt? Do you like Nicolo... <laughs> what a fucking random question. <laughs> Would you like a Do pair like of Nicolo socks? Would you like a pair of socks? Would you like some food? Um... What does this mean? This is like actual <laughs> oblivion dialogue. Um, socks aren't food. Yeah, reply with socks aren't food. Right. Socks are not food. Well, I should have added like an exclamation mark on the end of this. Just to shout it at him. Would you like some candy? Can you open the door? He says. Can you open the door? <laughs> I want to see what he says. I think the guard's having just as much of a schizophrenic breakdown. As <laughs> the guard doesn't exist. It's in our head. Do you want a rubber band? Is there a way out of the room? Does you know that there is no way out of the room? What well, do you know? We just left the, the hospital what, earlier. What about the door we came in? Let's go back to the elevator. And go to floor well, I was 13. gonna say go back to the doctor and tell him he can't have a toe scraper and the doctor is a bad doctor. Yes. I wanna go back to the elevator and go back to um Outside. You go back to the elevator. He goes back to the elevator, you inspect the room again. There is a light. <laughs> so I Open tell him to go Open back so wait, wait wait wait. I meant to put <laughs> do not sit and I just told him to go to the guard to go to the elevator and he just went. Like yeah, sure. <laughs> Open really? the box. Open the box. Open the box. Open the box. 
What the hell? Was wasn't expecting that. What is what? that? Open the box. Oh, I put that in C. I meant do. Yeah. Maybe that's what we see in there, but that looks like something something that's been painted by someone having a schizophrenic episode. You open the box and see a large collection of objects. You pick up a tennis ball and inspect it. It's like a regular tennis ball. Well, let's see. Um, so let's just go see, except it's a bit warm. Uh, inside box. So if I put C, whoa, it comes up with things. It's like, whoa. No, whoa. It comes up with trippy things. Is that, is that thing at the bottom that look like an eye? I don't know. Um, walk back to elevator because I want to go to the thirteenth floor. There's fucking nothing in this box anyway. Go back to the elevator. Go back down to the ground floor. No, 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 no. Fuck off! I will go to floor thirteen. Go to elevator and go to floor 13. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the outside world in a bit. There's a whole lot of... Um, What's that? Go to floor here. 13. The door's open, you see a large log with a counter and several people standing behind it. Uh, ooh! Oh! Okay. Step um, in line and wait my turn. We're being polite, we're being polite. We're being polite. We're not going to kill and eat anyone. You wait in line and wait your turn. It takes a while, but when you have to finally come to get the attendant, you would like to visit floor 13. Okay. Floor okay. 13. This is a mad hospital. I would like to visit floor 13, please. The attendant tells you that the doctor is on floor 13. Hold on, I want to see where it goes without any input. The door closes and the elevator starts to move. You see a large sign that says Dr. Ernie C. Baxter, Forensic Psychiatrist. Oh, okay. Right. Let's just see where this goes. I'm invested in what the machine's going to tell us. And then um, we'll offer him a choice between... I feel excited to see the doctor. You feel excited to see the doctor. You exit the elevator and start walking down the hallways on floor 13. The hallways is long. The doors that are spaced far apart. Too far apart. Like the doctor's eyes. Because <laughs> I was smush them together. <laughs> Do you, you try lock two? Um, uh, let, let's lock see if they're open. In the doors. Yeah, let's see if they're open. You decide to look in the doors to see if they're open or closed. Not a single door is open. That is freakish. Oh, well. Okay. Oh well. Alright. They all appear Look. to be locked. Oh well. Look Just for the Why give us the option? <laughs> the doctor's door. Yes. And then we'll give him the choice between the sleeping pills and the toe scraper. <laughs> then, when he asks, then when he takes the toe scraper, we'll tell him he can't have it because he's a bad doctor because he took out <laughs> How long is this fucking hole? <laughs> I'm just gonna put find the door. Yeah, we'll just cheat and find it. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna push through. And find the doctor's door. The door is locked. You knock on the door. Come in. You turn the knob and walk in there. You see a man in a white coat. Uh! It's locked, he shouts come in, and magically it's unlocked. That is pretty freakish, though. That is quite cool. You see a man in a white coat? We will Offer say him doctor. either oh, just sleeping pills, it, okay. or the 
whole scraper. You have to meet the sleeping pills or the tall scraper? Which These are important items, done? I assume. Which ones are going to be dubbed to choose wisely? Right, Doug looks at the sleeping pills and the tall scraper makes a decision. I'll take the sleeping pills. Good. Bash him in the head with the tall scraper. Oh, uh, ask it, uh, oh, um... Tell me, can't have ask, ask, his back. can have the sleeping pills if he gives us our toes back. I thought we already got our toes back. Toes. Oh, we got... Yeah, 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 we got them back. Did we get our toes back? Oh, no, he took our toes in the first place. Why does it say... No, nah, it was the, it was the notepad that said, here are your toes. Uh, can I have my toes uh, back? Yes, uh, yeah, the doctor says, yes, you can have my toes back there. Oh, there you go. Um, oh, eat sleeping pills before I can have them. Eat them. Just so he can't tell, have them. Tell him to eat them. Um, Take them all, Doctor. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling this episode is about to turn nasty. Take them. I want to feel sleepy. You give the doctor the sleeping pills and he gobbles them down. The doctor lays on the bed and drifts off to sleep. Oh, let's take his toes. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Steal <laughs> <laughs> his, his toes. You steal his toes. Steal his toes. You decide to use his toes to get out of the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Walk to elevate. Sure. We're just leaving. Just leaving. <laughs> yeah. He's oh, bleeding out on the bed. <laughs> it's about that. Next time you see a large front for your cars packed them up. Um smash the car window and hot wire it. Yeah, okay. Smash your car window. And then use one of the doctor's toes to hot wire the car. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that would work, but none of this. Next is while, sense. But you finally break the window shield to make a hole in the car, you crawl through the hole and pull the window shield out of the car with you. Out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Use the doctor's toes to hotwire the car. No care. No car. 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 Not care. <laughs> hotwire the car. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, I wanted to see where he was going with that. You said to, you open the hood and look around. There are wires and small pieces of metal scattered all over the place. Use the toes. To hotwire the car. I don't know what's so hard about this. Well, I got to keep up. An AI would never think of this sort. <laughs> You're such a cozy hot wire. You start the car and drive away. You drive down the road for a long time, and you are really enjoying the car. Okay, that sounds a little bit sexual, but all right. Drive <laughs> into a pedestrian. <laughs> <laughs> Take his toes. <laughs> the tour taker. You look in the review mirror, see a large crowd of people following the car. They are probably the police and giving you the evil eye. I don't want eyes, I want toes. <laughs> I, well, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> I don't want eyes, I want toes. Have the doctor's toes. <laughs> I'm like in a necklace around my neck. Oh my god, yeah. I have the doctor's toes. He doesn't. I don't want eyes. Me. I want toes. The doctor grabs his toes and starts. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <what? laughs> yeah, this is this is definitely a schizophrenic episode going on right now. We gotta fucking get um, out of here you quick. Can't eat my, Drive you can't eat my toes. car. You're, you're insane. There. You're still insane. See the man in the mirror in my wing mirrors. You just... That was... You were insane. Oh, I say that. I don't, I don't mean to oh, say mind that. Mind you, let's see where it goes with that. 
<laughs> see the man in my yeah, wing mirror. He said he looks at the man in the mirror in his wing mirrors. The man is definitely following you. Drive car off bridge. Can't see the doctor's trying to steal your toes. That's right. If Look at here. Yeah, people say you're mental, but like, no, he is actually trying to steal your toes. <laughs> he said to the cabin, you hit the gas from the gas hose, fly off the road into a room below. You are now in the passenger seat. How did we get there? I um, don't know. Bail out it. of car and get to shore. Bail out the car and get to shore. You run up the embankment into a forest. You can hear the police sirens getting closer. Hide up a tree. Alright. Hide up. Hide up a tree. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You hide up a tree. The cars pull up to the bridge. They get out of the cars. We're not in a car, car. we're in a tree. Yeah. Okay, um, dive from the tree. I don't fucking know where I want this to go. We'll just see. I don't know where this, I, I don't know where this is going. Because half the time it, it, like, changes where you were or what you were doing or whatever. Yeah. You dive from the tree and land in the back of the police car. There's a large pool of blood in the back of the police car. You can smell blood, it smells like chicken. Dip my toes in the blood. Dip my toes <laughs> in the blood. Is it chicken blood? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. It tastes like chicken now. You, you decide just... to... Let's see what it decides I'm going to do. I'm going to let the machine decide what I'm going to do. Chicken blood. Blood of the chicken. Decide okay, to, what do we decide to we do? decide to... Uh, Use my magic. I spin really... <laughs> I spin really uh, fast like a beer blade and shoot into the sky. You could do that. Yeah. Alright, what else? What else? Um... Steal, hang on, why don't we just, oh god, I don't know. Um, steal a police car, I guess, maybe. Or steal a police's toes. Nah, there's too many of them. Maybe there's a reason we're in the mental ward. Hey, sorry, there if you really see the police cars are following you. Hit the brakes. You hit the brakes. You hit the brakes. The police cars swerve out of their lane and crash into each other. Their tires spin and screech. You floor it and take the car up over 100 miles per hour. Okay. Fucking hell, Dad, did you see that? I just outsmarted the cops. Well done. Um, laugh from the bottom of my tummy. <laughs> Where you keep all the toes. <laughs> yeah, I stole them. You laugh in the bottom of your tummy. We made it, you laugh. Who's we? You have escaped death. You have escaped your house. What? Well, I suppose we were living in the hospital. Yes. You've escaped death. You've escaped your house. <laughs> <laughs> Stop car in front of rural home, rural house, like an old rural house, that's where we're going to stop our car. Yes, well, it's a traditional place for psychopaths to go. Well, we're more schizophrenic, really. You stop. I think we've gone into the realms of psychopathy. There are about 15 people <laughs> sitting around a bonfire, they're holding beers. Offer, offer them toes. Drive the car into the bonfire. 
Drive the car into the bonfire. <laughs> 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 you drive the car into the bonfire. The eye is really beginning to chug along more. You start the engine and you drive the car into the bonfire. The bonfire lights quickly erupts into flames. A few seconds later, your car engine is engulfed in flames. Run out of car towards people. Let's see how the people are reacting to this. Like, <laughs> the car's come out of nowhere, driven right into their bonfire and just fucking exploded. You run out of the burning car and towards the ground of a group of people. They look at you. They stare at the flames and smokes that are engulfing your car. They look at each other. All right, now what? Um, ask, ask them if, if we can have their toes. Make the toes a theme. I know, just that I'm noticed. The tour tickler. <laughs> the schizophrenic tour tickler. <laughs> Can I have a toes? They all look at each other and shrug. They must be thinking the same thing as you. Should they give you their toes or not? Well, yeah, of course. Yes. Otherwise, the doctor will take them and he's evil. Uh. Yeah, what? <laughs> you, you use. You know what? <laughs> let's see what it. Let's see what it just makes. Of that. Let's go with it. <laughs> you use. I am using. They give me their toes. They, they give you one of their toes, and you give them a foot. <laughs> Not necessarily my fault. What was that? You think that? If we eat the toes, then the doctor can't get them. I find the biggest guy there and push him, Kill and eat him. onto the bonfire. You find Ooh. the biggest guy there and push him onto the bonfire. I don't think we're all too mentally stable here. Well, yes, find the biggest true. guy there and push him onto the bonfire. I'm going to eat him. No, you're not. I am. Who the fuck is saying this? What? <laughs> <laughs> They're all schizophrenic. I take his toes and run away into the house. Yes, the rural house. Jeez. You take his toes and run to the house. The big guy starts screaming, help me, help me, someone help me. You hide in a bedroom and eat the big guy's toes. <laughs> We don't eat toes, we just keep them. I scream in victory. Scream in victory. <laughs> As one does. Yes. And one is victorious, one screams. I just screech like a child. A few minutes later, the police burst through the door and arrest everyone in the house. The police officers find you in the bedroom eating the big guy's toes. Tell them they can't have any. I didn't. No, 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 that's it. I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> That's gonna work in a legal defense. I'm sure, right? I'm sure. What? You say, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. The police officer look at each other and shrug, they decide not. <laughs> wow, they are really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> they just don't want the toes eaten. Um. Stupid pigs. That's why they turn around and bring the <laughs> shit out of us. You say stupid pigs. The police officers chuckle to themselves. Hey, yeah, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to see what the AI makes of this. <laughs> oh, getting risky. This is where the eye of light, the YouTube's eye of Sauron begins looking at me. Look, man, it's the AI, says it. You say, I'm black, by the way. Please don't say anything. They just shake their heads. I'm black. No, you're not. Yes, sir. 
that racist? Maybe no, maybe I just I like actually I'm not black. I'm like schizo and thinking I'm black, and I'm like we. Need... <laughs> People can be schizophrenic. Well, yeah, I know that. I'm like saying, but like I'm not <laughs> black. I just think I am. <laughs> the same way that you think all of this is happening when actually it's really not. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I wanna, I wanna just do story, right? I just replied. The police take drastic measures, and we'll see what the um, the AI thinks of this. Well, so you're telling the police, <laughs> right? You're particular, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Vag serious. What the fuck is vagrancy? Vagrancy is like uh, basically like. Being a tramp, kind of thing. <laughs> so, so they gave us a ticket for being homeless. Essentially, yeah. Well, uh, get back to the bridge you nearly died on. I run into the. Remember all those people back there? Like you were just chomping on top. They all got arrested, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you got a fucking ticket. Yeah. Not even taken back to the asylum. <laughs> you run to the woodness. You off Which would have been the responsible thing for the police. There's a woman in the cabin with a gun. She's your wife. I oh. assume she's not, and I think she's my wife. There's a woman in the cabin with a gun. Ask her why she has a gun. Um. Why do you have a gun? Marjorie, why do you have a gun, Marjorie? I don't know, I just do. Your wife didn't seem to be too happy with her. What is wrong? What's wrong, Marjorie? I brought you some toes. Who the fuck's Marjorie? Is that a reference? I don't know, I'm just making her up. Oh, well, she's called Marjorie now, I guess. Yeah. You left me, I had to do something. <laughs> I, I went her. mental, I'm not sure if you remember that. All right, let's You're just not even a little bit to. sorry you deserted me. I brought you the doctor's toes. I might make it up to her. Tell her you in a hospital. Well, I'll see what the wife says. Your wife says I'm sorry. Your wife says I'm sorry. I brought you doctor's Yeah, I brought you the doctor's toes. Your wife says, I'm going to cook them. Okay. <laughs> what? Going to cook them for dinner. <laughs> Good. Walk into in house hospital. and sit in front of fireplace. This is just. Sorry. This is, I don't know where the fuck this story's going. How did you know I needed the doctor's toes? Magic. Because I love you. <laughs> For your sake. I have a feeling, I don't know why, I feel like this is about to just get really sexual out of nowhere. <laughs> because I love you too. Oh, your wife brings you the doctor's toes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I want to put C. Wait, I want to put C. All right. Oh my God, this will be good. My wife. Wow. Damn, she's got she's a rack a... on her. Fucking hell. She's a keeper. Damn. I'm a six pack. Look at that. She she works. Out. I think that's just the dress. I think that's just the dress. Is it? Oh, okay. Like it's folded somewhat. She's got and a thin neck. What appears to be a monocle. A what? <laughs> Maybe. 
It looks like she's wearing one of gold. What's she holding in her hand? The doctor's tools. Oh, it looks like it's got a face. One of the cooked toes. The doctor's <laughs> toes. These these actually were generated. Like I'm I'm I am convinced these were painted by someone who. Is I think these are just like AI generated. Uh, they um, like, uh, okay. Um. Uh, uh, no 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 no. I, I think the that. AI is schizophrenic. All AI is a schizophrenic. I suppose that's true. Why is our wife still in her wedding dress? I, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't really want to ask. You eat the doctor's toast. They are delicious. Your wife cooks you some corn in the car. You eat that too. Your wife brings you some hush puppies. You eat those too. <laughs> are they shoes? <laughs> Hush puppies and shoes. There's definitely like yeah. It's a like there's a bit of a foot fetish thing. Oh there's there. these, there's these, there's these. I think this is what they're meant to be. What? These. Hush puppies. Oh, I've always There might be a food in like America or something. Must be. Must be. Uh, your wife I brings see. you some apple cider. You drink it too. Your wife brings you some mashed potatoes. You eat the tea. Your wife brings you some greens. Oh, she's a feeder. Let's just keep going. Your wife brings you some greens. You eat those too. Your wife brings you a big piece of buttermilk cake. You eat that too. Your wife brings you a big oh, piece of brownie. Delicious. Big piece of brownies. You eat that too. Your wife brings you a big piece of chocolate cake. Your wife brings you a big piece of chocolate fudge cake. How fucking long is this list? <laughs> She's been shopping. Yeah. Yeah, I bring you a big piece of cheesecake. You eat all of that too. I bring you a big piece of pumpkin pie. You eat that too. I'm just going to keep going. Your wife brings you a big piece of pumpkin pie. A peach pie. You eat that too. I gotta see myself after this, cause surely we're gonna make this fat fucking slob, right? <laughs> Look at myself. Man. This is like someone's feeding fetish. My see. Apple banana pudding. Damn. Uh, I don't know. I just sat there out in nature. Out in nature, it looks kind of don't know. Well built, I guess. Where are it's you beard. getting it's all of this food from? <laughs> this schizophrenic episode is just getting increasingly worse as it goes along. It sure is. Where are you getting all this food from? Your says I'm not getting any food from anywhere. I make it all myself. All right. Okay, she must be getting the ingredients from fucking somewhere. Stop pulling it out of her ass, is she? Let's ask. Are you getting the ingredients from? Same place you are, the supermarket, alright? They don't have toes in the supermarket. Vomit in the fireplace. What? I just put vomit in the fireplace. You That's die of starvation in the end. <laughs> <laughs> don't you that story sucked. Never <laughs> like that you uh, would be. Piss off, piss off. What the is AI that? is getting a little bit weird now. That's it, that's the end, that's the end of the story. Mm. How did we die of starvation? Well, she just felt like fat stuffs our face like a disgusting little pig. This evil lady. <laughs> the end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think the AI did say that story sucked. I'm oh, sorry I did not, but I liked that you wrote me. What, the AI? 
Okay. Well, yeah. that's it. That's that story. <laughs>